Hypoplastic left heart syndrome, or HLHS, is treated with a series of three operations that are performed within the first four years of life. The first surgery is the Norwood procedure. It is the most complicated surgery of the three and is usually performed within the first week after your baby is born. This procedure allows your child's right ventricle to pump blood to both the body and the lungs. After the anesthesiologist prepares your baby for surgery, the surgeon will make an opening in the middle of the chest and put special tubes into the heart and blood vessels. This allows your baby to be connected to a heart-lung machine so the surgeon can work on your baby's heart without having blood flow through it. The first step in the Norwood procedure is to enlarge the opening between the left and right atrium. This is called an atrial septectomy, which allows blood from the left and right atrium to mix. The next step is to enlarge the aorta so blood can flow to the body. This is accomplished by closing the patent ductus arteriosus. Then the pulmonary artery is separated. Incisions are made in the aortic arch, pulmonary artery, and descending aorta. These vessels are then sewn together with a patch. This forms a new aorta, creating a pathway from the heart to the body. For the final step, blood flow to the lungs is accomplished with a tube or shunt from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. After the surgery, most children need to stay in the hospital for about a month on average. Before you and your child leave the hospital, we will provide you with the information you need to care for your child at home. Our complex congenital heart disease team will also see your baby frequently in the clinic after you go home. The second surgery is the bidirectional Glenn procedure, which will usually be performed at about four to six months of age. The final surgery, the Fontan procedure, will be performed at about two to four years of age. To learn more about our Norwood success rates and to view all of our outcomes data, visit childrenscolorado.org slash heartoutcomes.